welcome to this energizing morning yoga flow. This is a short sequence that you can do at the very beginning of your day to stretch and strengthen the body, but also prepare the mind for the day ahead. Yoga is the best way to start the day. So let's get started at the front of the mat. So just coming into a standing position on your mat, and let's take the toes to touch, heels slightly apart, and just pick up all your 10 toes to start with, and just spread the toes wide onto the mat. And roll the shoulders away from the ears. And find this lift through the arches of the feet. We're really rooting down through all four corners of the feet. And we're energizing through the inner thighs, engaging into the thigh muscles, the calves. A slight tuck of the tailbone, finding that lift into the spine. And depending on how you slept last night, you might notice just a few niggles in the body. So you might notice that you have tight shoulders today, or maybe you feel the hamstrings feel really tight today. So we're really going to get into all of that with this flow. So just take a moment and close off your eyes. And just bring your awareness to your breath. And take a big, full, energizing inhale through the nose. And an exhale out. Two more just like that. So big, energizing inhales that are really going to fill up the front ribs, the side ribs, and the back ribs. And then as you exhale, just release the breath. Last time, big inhale. And big exhale. And slowly, when you're ready, just bring your palms through heart center, connecting right and left side body, Anjali Mudra. Bow in chin slightly towards chest. And just set an intention for your yoga practice today. You might even set an intention for your day. And just something personal to you that you wish to bring, something positive out into the world. Just as we move through today, just know that this is quite an energizing practice. So take it easy, listen to your body. If you need to take a break or anything like that, please do, please either come into child's pose, take a moment and then just reset and come back. Slowly when you're ready, opening through the eye. And then inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up and out to the side. Gazing up towards the sky, palms touch. Exhale, palms float through heart center, hinging from the hips. We'll melt the chest down towards the thighs, relax the head, relax the gaze. And this is our first forward fold of the day. So you might bend your knees, really rest the torso onto the thighs, relax the head. You might shake your head yes, you might shake your head no. But end on a positive shake your head yes. And then inhale, gazing outwards, lengthening into the spine, creating that space. Hands either onto the shins or onto the floor. And then exhale, forward fold. Bending into those knees. Inhale, big sunburst breath up towards the sky. And then exhale, hands back through heart center. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up and up to the side. Exhale, folding over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening into the spine, creating length in the back of the legs. Exhale, folding. Bending into those knees. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, hands back through heart center. Last round, big breath in. Inhale, reach the arms out to the side. Exhale, folding over the legs. Forward fold, creating that length into the spine. Inhale, lengthening, gazing forward. Exhale, folding inwards. Bending into those knees, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale back through heart center. This time we're going to take it into a sun salutation A. So inhale, reaching the arms. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthening into the spine. Exhale, planting the hands and stepping both feet back into a high plank pose. Just setting up your foundation here in this plank. It's the first moment that we're connecting to the core today. So really spread the shoulder blades wide, shifting hips towards heels, heels elongating backwards. Maybe you drop the knees to the ground. Take one last breath here. And then shifting forward, either knees drop to the ground or keep the knees 
lifted and we'll lower the chest all the way down to the earth and just take a moment here interlace the fingers back behind you squeeze the knees and the inner thighs towards each other and then inhale start to lift the chest so really drawing the chest off the earth squeeze in the shoulder blades together length in the back of the neck you take one last breath, maybe lifting the chest even higher. And then exhale, melting the chest down towards the ground. And tuck the hands underneath your shoulders and tuck the toes under. Start to press the floor away and send the hips all the way up and back into our first downward facing dog. So just checking in with this downward facing dog. You might pedal out the feet and so bending one leg, straightening out through the other leg. And just notice the shoulders outwardly rolling away from the ears. We're pressing hands firmly down into the earth, especially the index finger and the thumb. And the heels might not drop down to the ground and that's fine too. But we're keeping those ribs hugging in. Take one last breath here. And then look forward between the hands. We'll step the feet to the front of the mat. And take your toes to touch, heels apart. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, big breath in, reaching the arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, hands through heart center. Let's take our second round and make it a little bit more energizing. So inhale, reaching the arms. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping or hopping back, high plank, depending on how much energy you have this morning too. Exhale, either knees or hover, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, lifting the heart, thighs lift off the ground. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Let's take three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one last breath. And then look forward between the hands. You might step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthening into the spine. Exhale, folding forward. Bending the knees. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And exhale, hands back through heart center. Final round. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, folding over the legs. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthening into the spine. Exhale, planting the hands. Stepping both feet back. High plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe three breaths. Make every breath count. Big inhales and big exhales. The breath is the most important part of the yoga practice. So really fill these postures with life, with, with energy. And then look forward between the hands, stepping, floating, hopping, however you wish to make it to the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. This time, bending the knees. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Interlace the fingers. And from here, point the skin of the palms up towards the sky. Inhale, find a big stretch. And then exhale, start to lean towards the right side of the mat. So we find this half moon pose. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, start to lean up and over to the left side. Half moon pose. And slowly coming back to center. Exhale, hands move back through the heart. Bending into the knees from here. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Chair, big breath in. And sinking the seat, shifting the weight towards the heels, lifting all 10 toes off just for a breath, engaging into your core, hugging those ribs slightly in, and then exhale, folding. Inhale, lengthening into the spine. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping back. Feel free to step back to a downward facing dog or to a high plank pose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. From this downward facing dog, 
Inhale, look forward between the hands. We'll step the right foot forward coming into a lunge. You might step a halfway and give it a little bit of a nudge, but the knee is over the ankle. We're squaring right hip back, left hip slightly forward, just setting up here in this high lunge. And then when you're ready, inhale, start to sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. We'll come into a high crescent lunge. Feel free as well to bop, drop, drop <laughs> that back knee down to the earth. Or keep it lifted, keep it energised. From here, sweep the right arm back behind you, left arm reaches forward. Twisted crescent lunge. If you want to challenge your gaze, you might gaze towards that back arm. Keep bending into the front knee. And then slowly sweeping that left arm up towards the sky, spin onto the ball of that back foot and turn the hips and the shoulders towards the side. Bend into the front knee and reach the arms all the way out, warrior two. And the front knee is moving open towards the right side of the mat so the shoulders are rolling away from the ears. Gaze is soft to front middle finger and keep breathing here so every time you inhale maybe you find that water element rise all the way up ever so slightly and then as you exhale sink further down towards the earth we'll flip the front palm up inhale reversing your warrior reach all the way up and back side body stretching side body lengthening Keeping that deep bend into the front knee. Keep hugging that right hip in. And keep rolling the chest. And slowly coming back. We'll take the right elbow onto the right knee. Inhale, start to reach that left arm up towards the sky. Or all the way up and over by the ear. Keep lengthening out through the left side waist. And just relax the jaw. Relax the toes. You might venture slightly deeper into this pose if you want to go there, taking your right hand inside of your right foot, but you don't want to take that hip back behind you. You want to keep completely in alignment. Gazing down. Inhale, start to rise all the way back up, warrior two. Straighten out through that front leg, maybe walking the back toes in ever so slightly, shortening your stance. And then reach forward, hinging from the front hip. Right hand floats down. Left arm reaches up. And you might just hover the right hand off the shin. Or maybe face it down lightly. Leaning back into the pose. And creating evenness and space through right and left wedged between two imaginary walls and then gazing down inhale start to rise all the way up we'll flip the front palm up and inhale reverse your triangle so we're really getting into the side body and then bending into the front knee circle the hands all the way down to the earth come onto the ball of that back foot stepping back either to that downward facing dog if you need to take a moment or heading through a vinyasa so maybe going from plank into chaturanga squeezing shoulder blades together lowering inhale lifting the chest upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog take a big breath in once you get to your downward facing dog big breath out Looking forward between the hands, we'll step the left foot forward, coming into a lunge this time. Stay on the ball of that back foot. When you're ready, left hip back. Right hip slightly forward, really energizing through that back heel. Inhale, start to reach up, high lunge. Or if you went for that low lunge on the other side, please go for that here. Breathe. Soften the exhales, big energizing inhales, which really lift you up towards the sky. But as you exhale, you find that rooting down into the earth. And left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward, finding your crescent lunge twist. Keep sinking down, rising up. 
keeping that length into the spine, the squareness of the hips. Imagine someone's taking you from that back arm. And then slowly, gazing forward, right arm reaches up towards the sky and we twist towards the right side of the mat. Spin on the ball of that back foot. Open out your stance into your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Gaze is soft. Front middle finger, those ribs are really hugging inwards. We're tucking the tailbone under. We've got a slight internal rotation on that back leg, which will support the external rotation on the front knee. Take one last breath. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, rooting down. And then flip the front palm up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. So back arm reaches back behind you. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Take a big breath in here. And a big breath out. And slowly releasing. Let's go for Parsvatanasana. So taking left elbow onto the left knee. Inhale, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Or all the way up and over by the ear. Just finding that lift, that length. And keep opening through the collarbones, but keep hugging those ribs in so you've got that support from the core. And if you want to go for deeper variation, you can do that on the other sides, taking the hand inside of that left foot, reaching the chest. gazing down. Inhale, start to rise all the way back up, warrior two. We'll straighten out through that front leg, maybe walking the back toes in ever so slightly. Gazing forward, hinging from the front hip, left hand roots down, inhale, right arm reaches up. You might just hover the left hand off the thigh. Finding that space, finding the breath. And take one last breath here. And then gazing down. Inhale, start to rise all the way up. Flip the front palm up. Inhale, reverse your triangle. And slowly circling the hands down to the floor, bending into the front knee to cushion the transition. Come onto the ball of that back foot and stepping back, high plank. Exhale, lowering all the way to the ground. Stay here. And from here, interlace the fingers back behind you. Inhale, lift up through the chest, locust. You might squeeze the legs together and lift thighs off the ground. So I always like to do some back bends in the morning. So we're going to get right into it. And take one last breath. And slowly lower the chest down to the floor. And we'll take the right ear to the mat and you might just sway the hips a little bit from side to side. Breathing. And feel free to stay with this locust pose that we have just done. Or you might venture into a bow pose. So bending the back of the knees. And then you might take hold of the feet or the ankles, if you've got the range of flexibility to go for the ankles and flex the feet, go for it. But if not, taking hold of the feet, really pressing the feet into the hands and then lifting up through the chest. Maybe you lift the thighs off the ground. And just go wherever your body feels that it needs to be this point in the practice, it might be locust, it might be bow. And take one last breath. Slowly releasing. Left ear to the mat, round the shoulders forward, you might winch your wipe of the legs from side to side, or any poses in between. And we're going to do one final round.
taking the forehead into the centre of the mat, either stay with locust or bow. In your own time, when you're ready, on your next inhale, press the feet into the hands, lift the chest, maybe lift the thighs. Don't forget to breathe and smile. Express the heart outwards. And slowly release. And release the legs and sway the hips from side to side. And then take the hands underneath the shoulders big final back bend of the day and press the feet into the earth and you might just lift up for a cobra or you might go for a sphinx pose or you might go for an upward facing dog so whichever back bend that you've chosen and just lift the hips lift the heart and then hips all the way up and back Downward facing dog. And take a big breath in through the nose, in your downward facing dog. Hold the breath at the very top and then exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Big breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Last time, energizing breath. Big breath in. Exhale. Just drop the knees to the ground, send the hips towards the heels, extend the arms forward, and child's pose. And just taking a few breaths, just allowing the body to take in the sequences it's already been through this practice. And then whenever you're ready, just rolling all the way up to a kneeling position. We'll extend the legs out in front of you. Let's go for a diamond shape. So a big, big diamond shape. This is really nice to release the hips and the back. Let's take the knees out wide. And then inhale, lifting up through the chest. And then exhale, folding forward. And you might walk the hands out, you might take hold of the feet or the shins. And then inhale, find that length. Exhale, find the softness. If you know in your day ahead today that you are going to be sitting down or not, it's really nice to give your hips a good stretch before you sit down on them all day. <laughs> and take one last breath. And slowly, when you're ready, just rolling all the way up to a seated position. And take the left leg out, hug the right knee into the chest, sit up tall. And we'll take the right leg all the way over the left leg. And feel free to stay up right here. We're going to go for a twist. Or you can bend into that left leg and take the heel towards the right hip. Only do this if you can keep that length into the spine and you can get both sit bones down towards the ground. And then inhale, find that length. Exhale, finding that twist. So either hugging that right knee in towards you or taking the left elbow outside of the right knee and finding that twist. And just waking up the digestive system. And just wringing out any toxins from the night as well. And slowly releasing, coming back to centre, we'll just counter-rotate it to the opposite side. 
and getting into the hips a little bit more, I'm going to give you some options for this next pose. You might take your left leg in front of your right leg and just in a comfortable Sukhasana, easy seated pose and then go for a forward fold. So that's option number one. Option number two is flexing into the right foot, flexing into the left foot and then allow the right ankle to move on top of the left knee and the right knee will move on top of the left ankle. So this is double pigeon. Feel free if you've got any blocks or any books or any blankets that you want to use to support this pose, feel free. You might stay seated, completely upright, maybe giving yourself a bit of a self-adjustment, taking that right knee down towards the left heel, or you might fold. And feel free to just go with that seated Sukhasana folding forward as well. And just wherever you are, just honouring your body, honouring the pose, and most importantly, focusing on the breath. really getting into the hips now. And so focusing on the exhales. And slowly when you're ready, just releasing the pose, coming back to centre. And we'll hug both knees into the chest. Extend both legs out. And this time we'll take the left foot, hug it into the chest. We'll take the left leg over the right leg. And either staying here and going for your twist in this position if you did it on the other side or bending that left knee and sitting up tall big inhale and exhale taking left arm back behind you right arm reaches up towards the sky really find the space into the side body and then exhale either hugging that knee into the chest or taking elbow outside the knee inhale lengthen and exhale finding that twist So if you feel that you need that extra height, you might take a block or a book underneath that left hand just to give you that extra space and then find that twist. It's really important to find that lift first. Take one last breath. And slowly releasing the pose, just counter rotate it to the opposite side and then Maybe taking left ankle outside of right this time and folding forward Sukhasana if you did it on the other side. Or this time flexing into the right foot, flexing into the left foot, taking left knee on top of right knee. Left knee on top of right ankle. Left heel on top of right knee. And left knee on top of right ankle. That's it. <laughs> Maybe staying up right here, or maybe going for this juicy forward fold. Double pigeon pose it is quite a big, deep hip stretch. So really breathe into it, really invite the breath into this posture. And take one last breath. And slowly, when you're ready, just rise up to seated. Extend both legs out in front of you. And we'll roll all the way down onto our back. Slowly, slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Extend both arms out in front of you. And slowly roll down. Lower back, middle back. And upper back. Hug both knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, rock from side to side maybe. And let's go for a happy baby pose. So flexing into the feet, let's take the knees into the armpits, either taking hold of the backs of the knees or the soles of the feet. You might rock a little bit from side to side. And when you're ready, just hug the knees into the chest. And we'll extend the right leg out, extend the left leg out. And turning the palms up to face the sky in our Shavasana. Take a big breath in. And big breath out. Just 
thinking back to your intention that you set for this practice or intention that you've set for the day ahead. And just inviting this new day in. And just know that whatever happens in your day, just greet it with kindness, patience, happiness. Just taking a moment in our Shavasana to really ground us before our day ahead. Whenever you're ready, just start to deepen the breath, bring your awareness back into the inhales and the exhales. Just start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Inhale, full body stretch. It might be your second stretch of the day. Arms reach up and overhead. I always like to take a long stretch here in the morning. And then slowly hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze, maybe rock from side to side, and just rolling all the way over to one side. And we'll meet in a comfortable seated position at the front of the mat. And just taking your hands through heart centre, bowing chin towards chest. And just give yourself some gratitude for turning up onto your mats today, for taking some time out for you. And I wish you all a beautiful day ahead. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you all so much for tuning in to that energizing morning flow. It's, I love doing yoga in the morning. It is the best way to start the day. So it's definitely a flow that you can come back to again and again and again. Um, please let me know how you got on. Thank you so much.